Hi everybody today we are going to discuss one of the most important topic that is how to get more than 70% marks in TCS DCA PLSQL guys you should focus on this exam because in this exam you will be only get a MCQ not any codes will be asked so guys we have already made part 1 on this video i will give the link of that video in i button and description as well and in the screen also please go and check that video only then you will be able to get full benefit of this video so guys in previous video we have discussed few topics like exceptions in plsql we have discussed collections in plsql we have discussed cursors in plsql we have discussed cursor attributes which are very important in our last videos we have also discussed sample questions on these topics and in this video we are going to discuss few more topic like control statements in plsql and after that we will discuss one more topic that is predefined functions in plsql because sometimes they are asking predefined functions usage like they are giving one statement and from that statement they are saying that if we apply trim operation on this statement what will be the output so this also is very important that is predefined function and before we start our video please like this video and subscribe the channel for getting more updates regarding this so guys if you can see here here they have given different functions like numerical functions and inside numerical function there are different functions like abs sill floor so you have to study each of these functions that what it does what is the use of seal function what is the use of floor function what is the use of trunk function and round function because they will give some statement and apply these functions on those statement and then they will ask you that what is the output of these functions okay so if you go down they have given different functions and their examples also abs1 output is 1 abs minus 1 the output is minus 1 because absolute of any negative is positive itself okay so on seal function they have given different outputs you have to study this okay and if you go down you can see here they have given different character functions and in character functions they have init cap l trim r trim trim okay if you go down they have given different outputs on these functions on l trim if you apply good morning then what will be the output on trim if you apply this text then what will be the output like that they have given you have to study each and everything date functions okay so please go through these one by one now our next topic is control statement so if you look at control statement then you have different control statements like conditional select statements loop statements and the final one is sequential statement inside conditional selection statements we have if and else case in loop statement we have loop for loop and while loop and inside sequential control statements we have go to and null so in last exam they have asked like which of the following is sequential control statements and they have given different options like loop for loop go to and if so you have to tick go to okay and if you go down they have explained each of these topics in detail so you have to study this and i will give the link of these topics in description so that you can go and study so i have also given the link of 250 questions in description just go and try to solve those 250 questions that will be really helpful for all of you